Well, what are the issues with biometrics if I'm so excited about them, which I honestly really am? Well, honestly, cost is always a factor. And the reason for that is because implementing a biometric authentication infrastructure typically requires additional hardware, at least. Many times, it's also some very expensive software. This is very, very popular stuff here, folks. Beyond cost, what are our issues? Well, there's two primary concerns. The first is false positive. In other words, if the system detects or believes that you are actually the person you're representing, when in reality you are not, that's a false positive. That is the nightmare of every security professional, that they implement something that is supposed to be so radically secure, such as biometric authentication infrastructure, when in reality, it's letting false positives through. People who are claiming to be someone, they're not, and the system accepts them anyways. Also quite annoying and a negative, though not necessarily nearly as serious, are the false negatives. This is when I'm actually the person I'm supposed to be, but the system doesn't think I am. This is quite frustrating. In reality, biometric devices are rated both on their false positives and their false negatives, and this produces a ratio. The lower total number of the ratio, the better the biometric device is. Finally, one of the concerns of biometrics is privacy, believe it or not. We're actually doing a rather invasive approach to looking at the biological characteristics of an individual, something that not everyone is comfortable with. 